I'm starting with a necessary blessing. I almost said necessary evil, but the necessary blessing of putting away my dishes because God has provided again for us to eat and drink. And so we did. And now it's time to put the dishes away. I have a lot going on in this video though. You're gonna, we're gonna go to Walmart and I'm gonna show you that Walmart haul. I also have a Staples haul for you because I went to Staples and got some things from my basement. I'm gonna use them right away. So I'll be down in the basement also in this video. Some things worked out great, some things not so much, but you'll see that. And then also doing some spring cleaning down in my bathroom. What'd you put in there with the beans? Um, we didn't have any baking or salt for it, yeah. so we did have to strong. Ugh, gross. So I, I was, added, had hope for a minute. I, I, I added it. just a small That's, amount. No, it's not it just bad. permeates. Just like, it's not. I've, I've never been one to like meat and my beans, so it's fine. It just reminds me of growing up having to eat those Boston baked beans with the, uh, what do you call it? Salt pork. Oh. Nasty. These are, these are not it's Boston like if, baked meat. If milk is anywhere near my potatoes, it reminds me of the way my mom made scalloped potatoes, where the potatoes were like floating in the milk and there was ham in there. Oh. These are not Boston baked beans. There's no sugar I know. in this. I don't like meat in my beans. I like vegetarian beans. Then I can add meat, what meat I want. Like sure. Ground beef. Whatever. Whatever. It's okay, I shouldn't eat beans anyway. Sister Cree said that she found her door open. Someone opened her door, but it was the wind. Oh, wow. I saw her door open this morning, and I was like, I closed it because I was cold. <laughs> like, I thought she got out and went to the bathroom. I'm like, how did she get out? I know I locked that door. <laughs> huh? I said, can you believe me? Uh, yeah. Which shows how unsealed her room is. If the wind can open the door, she doesn't even have a window open. That's not good. Oh, now he's not. But the in there all the time. can even see my computer. Oh, the baby's warm. He just doesn't want to kick them out of his chair. Don't let him see them. Oh, the baby. So how long is it going to take you to do the rest of your stuff? Not too long. Okay. So okay, I'll be filming. Okay. What are we getting at Walmart? Well, we can get some of the grocery stuff. We can? Yeah. And I want to see how much their pantry type baskets cost. Baskets. All right, let me give you some background context. I know sometimes you guys like to just hear what's going on in the background of my house. And so I kind of let that play out. First of all, Carisia's room, or do you say room? <laughs> anyway, last year she came to us and she was like, I really need my own bedroom. So she was remembering that we put our, or we allowed our son Francois to be in what we call the blue room, which is a three season porch. And so I told her, I'm like, well, there's no heat in there for the winter. Like we can put a space heater, not, you know what I mean, not the kind that burns your house down, but the little fireplaces, but we can't afford to keep that running in deep winter. The room just is not insulated to, you know, have the purpose of being heated. So I said, you can be in there as long as you can be in there and then move back up with your sisters until it's warm again. So that's what she decided to do. And I bought her an electric blanket and she found that she actually enjoyed the cold with the electric blanket. I mean, it doesn't get as cold as if you're outside, but it gets pretty darn cold. But I did buy her a nice electric blanket. And so what we were talking about was I, you know, she keeps that door shut because otherwise the whole house freezes and my heat keeps going off. And in that, it was so windy that day that it blew open her door, even though she didn't have any doors or windows open in her room. Room. Did you hear how I said that? Anyway, I'm so proud of myself. 
So it has two glass sliders and then a door that has glass and then a window. And it's a super small room. Many of you have seen it. So it was just crazy that the wind was so strong that it blew through her room and opened the door and didn't even wake her up. She was cozy warm underneath her electric blanket. So I am finishing up here in the kitchen and then I moved to the living room. In the morning, lately, I edit a video to get it uploaded for you that day's video I really want to get that turned around so what ends up happening is I'm editing in the morning and then I'm filming in the afternoon and if you know me you know my high energy time my I call it my green light time is really in the morning so I would prefer to be filming and then edit in the afternoon and I just can't seem to get it turned around even when I take a day off from uploading a video then what ends up happening is I just rest and I don't do anything. And so then it doesn't actually help me at all. I'm getting everything tidied up so that I can fold laundry. And this pink desk that you see is something my husband bought me a while ago. It wasn't really working for me, but now I've realized that it actually works better for me now. But part of that was because I realized that it is perfectly the same width as a couch cushion so if I shove it down in the sides where the couch cushion ends then it ends up the perfect height and then later I realize if I put it on my ottoman it's even more perfect so I'll be using this a lot because lately I've been wanting to do my editing more out in the living room unless I have voiceover and then I will go do it in my bedroom anyway I need to get my laundry folded because we really want to go to Walmart and I don't want to come home to a mess because I will not have energy for it Okay, I wanted to tell you the other part of the conversation that you overheard was Yvonne giving Robin a hard time because he had given up his chair to the cats and he had come out of the office into the dining room to do his work. So as the seasons change, then the w sun is more coming through the skylights that are in the office where he's been, which has the skylights. And so as soon as he gets up to do anything, which that day it was, he was making beans in the crock pot, uh, the cats, one day Leo was on his chair and Woozy got up on his desk. So he comes back in and he's lost his chair and his desk and he doesn't have the heart to kick him out. It's going to be cold. It's going to work Yep. Yeah. What? Look at the camera. Can you look at the camera? Oof. Look, ah, uh, who's that handsome man? <laughs> He's like, can the camera look at me? That's <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. He's so cute. You say you're sorry to Woozy, but with Leo, you'd be like, Leo! Because mm -hmm. <laughs> my kimchi man's such a sweet little old guy. He is. And the baby, well, he's one of those second born. Exactly. <laughs> Chrissy, Yvonne, and I are planning to go to Walmart, and so I'm trying just to get my morning routine completely done. I feel really good that I got my video uploaded first, and so it is about 12 o'clock right now. Yvonne has already completed her schoolwork, and so she's just going to get ready. Chrissy's going to get ready, but this is how well Yvonne knows me. I was thinking in the back of my mind, if I told Yvonne that we would hit McDonald's on the way, she would just be out of her mind excited. So I had that in the back of my head. And would you know, she comes up to me and says, hey, do you think we could stop at McDonald's? This is her and I. We're always on the same brain wave. And I can never surprise her with anything because she'll just have a feeling and she'll come to me. And then other times it's something that she's doing and I already know she's doing it before she even tells me. It's a crazy thing between the two of us that I don't completely understand. But because I want to do a kitchen pantry overhaul, I really want to make my closets look pretty and I had asked you guys to tell me if there's anything you'd like to see me do in my house somebody said they like to see closet organizations and that's what sparked it so if there's anything you want to see me do you just tell me because it really does spark my imagination and it's just going to be such a blessing to me. But I wanted pantry baskets. I'm not going to fill the whole pantry with it, but I wanted, I was thinking four, but did you know they really had nothing? They had a couple that were like straw, you know, basket on the bottom, but then were like a painted brown on top, like half 
half and half. I really didn't like them, so I need to get to like a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls. I was super disappointed, but we did get a lot of things, and Yvonne asked permission if she could do the haul because she loves to do a good haul. So here she is. Oh, it's starting? Yeah. Here you go. Okay, stop. <laughs> Hello everyone. We just came back from Walmart. As you can tell, cause I got my Coke. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you what we got. Mm -hmm. For starters, we got avocados, peanut butter biscuits. Don't turn the heat down. Remember outside and how cold it is. We got some dryer balls instead of for these are for instead of dryer sheets and it's supposed to dry faster. So we'll test that theory out. Then we got turkey bacon. Um chips ahoy since Ava's has been liking these. Some microwave Butter popcorn since Ava again likes these. Then we got some gluten free chocolate chips for a cloud. Then these zero carb little tortillas. Then skinny pop. And then saline spray for your nose. Oh, I think it's for her nose pierce. Oh. I don't know. Then we got some black McCormick pepper. Oh, some gel for my hair. This stuff works really well for a slick back hair style hairdo. <laughs> Excuse me. And Sister Cree has been enjoying some sourdough bread. <gasps> Excuse me, so we got sourdough bread. Then we finally got new measuring cups since some of ours don't have handles. So then we also got some brand new measuring spoons. Look at how cute! And these, we all got this at Walmart. We got some little bit of. Summer's Eve mini, like, for when you're going out, like when you're at work and stuff. Some little wipes. Then we got two things of Summer's Eve, the sensitive wash. Then we got, whoops, some rice. We love this brand, Carolina. Don't they want to come in? Okay. Then we got some disinfecting wipes since we need some since the upstairs bathroom must be looking extra messy so we can just wipe it real Notice quick. Their lemon. What? Notice they're lemon scented. Notice they're lemon scented. Which you like. Which I love. I don't know if you can see but there's the lemon. Then we got this brand new, what is this called? They're, uh, like glass storage in place of rubber maids for leftovers. Glass storage in place of rubber maids for storage. How do you say that? Kyrex. Kyrex. That's the brand. You, you can see the different colors. So, and this is a pack of 14 for $20. Then, guys, this stuff is so good. This is peanuts covered in salt and lime. And let me tell you this. We can we these you can get in downtown Portland at the little Spanish store, uh, La Bodega in downtown Portland. But we we're able to find these at Walmart, so we got this. Then we got some sensitive flushable wipes. <laughs> Then we got some plastic cling wrap at Walmart brand. And then Sister Cree wanted to try these protein bars. These are strawberry flavored. Sister Cree wanted to try. 
Then we got Listerine mouthwash. Then we got more freezer bags. And then we got these coconut waters I'm obsessed with. These, again, you can find at the uh, La Bodega in downtown Portland, but we found them at Walmart. As long as this, these two combined, mm-mm, chef's kiss. Then we got paper towels. Then we got yeah more chunky blue cheese. What did? Oh, uh, chunky blue cheese. Our dad. Then we got Kleenex. We get the ones with the soothing lotion. Then we got more sweetened dried mango. This stuff is really good. Then we got Tresemme conditioner for curly hair like mine and Ava's. So I'll fix this. <laughs> Alright. Then we got sliced beets. Then we got vanilla, the Walmart brand, because it's cheaper than the McCormick one. And lastly, we got shaving cream, the EOS one, because this works really well. Hola! I don't know if you can see. Okay, look how blurry. It's a little blurry right there. And finally, we got the Eco Gel, the olive olive oil one. This stuff works really well for a nice slick back if you want. And that is it for my Walmart grocery haul. Comment down below if you want more. <laughs> Sister Crazy nodding at me, no. But comment down below if you want me to do more Walmart shopping videos. <sighs> All right, I never got these put away before I went to Walmart. It was so windy and freezing in that parking lot. Oh my goodness. So I want to get these taken care of. Dinner is on. Robin cooked. Yay! Made like it was like a, maybe I'll make it again. Uh, it was kind of like a ha Mexican hash brown casserole in the crock pot. I'll have to see where he got his recipe. And I got some more things at Staples yesterday that I want to show you. But you saw the Pyrex, right? I'm going to be putting those away tonight. So I want to put my Pyrex away. Some things that I got at Staples, utilize right away. And then I want to clean the vanity in the downstairs bathroom for spring clean and get all the nail holes filled with dap so that I can paint tomorrow because tomorrow's Friday for me and I really want to get well I never did a second coat on the little bits of trim in the upstairs bathroom I don't know that my husband's going to be trimming out that door I'm sorry this is so dark maybe if I move it away from the window Da, da. And look, I spilled something on my carton, so now I need to wash my carton. I'm a hot mess. Okay, shadows, but okay. Anyway, where was I? So, yeah, clean the vanity, fill the holes so that I can paint tomorrow. And I, def I need to start in the upstairs bathroom painting and do the little trim around in case there's a miracle that my husband ends up trimming that door over the weekend. I know we're planning to trim out the window, um, but I want to have it. I don't want to be the hindrance. And also, there's still some ceiling molding that needs to be painted. <laughs> Just doesn't end. Um, it's fine though because the house is gonna look so good, right? This is not mine. This is my husband's Put that away 
Okay. My husband has some notebooks of school notes that he has kept. I mean, ugh. Never use your cheapest tools. As we did um, declutter the filing cabinet, he got rid. I mean, that filing cabinet was full of school notes. So now we just have one box. So I got more of these. I love these because they're expandable, so you can fit a lot in it. They did have some that were like two inch expandable, but they were cardboard. So I wanted the plastic. See those? I got those at Staples, and then, you know I've been separating the um, photos. Well, I've been using those little photo boxes. What a ridiculousness that is, because they don't fit. So I got these three big ones, because I've been doing the photos for the three oldest kids. So we'll get those done, and then I'll start on photos for the four youngers, which most of those are on... Uh, the computer and so whether I'm using a jump drive or something I don't quite know but so these it says seven containers seven lids and it was like twenty dollars I want to say twenty dollars and ninety seven cents at Walmart and it's Pyrex so I figured okay a lot of you guys have been recommending I do this for leftovers so that's one that's small two but I thought we'll start here I wasn't going to get the bigger like they had one that was double the size and it was basically double the price. So I thought, I'll start with these. And they had the little covers. Oh yeah, I didn't realize they were so small. Well, we don't eat much anymore, so they might work out fine. Okay. <laughs> I should look. No, actually I think this is fine because my Rubbermaids aren't that big. So each one has a cover. The red cover goes on the big one, then the blue, and then, what is this? Red, nope, gray, then two of these small ones, red, red, purple. No, this is good, okay. At first, I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah, I'm happy with it, so I'll need to get these, you know, washed off and put away. I know right where they're going. So, oh, okay. So the bigger, this holds six cups, and then this holds four cups. This holds three cups, and this holds two cups, and, wait a minute. No, this holds four cups, and then this holds two cups, and this holds one cup. Okay, I'm loving this. I'm happy. You can reheat in them. Plastic lids are for microwave and storage use only. Okay, so they are plastic. So top shelf of the dishwasher. And of course they're nesting, so that's nice. I'm going to see how much fits. I'm hoping, I should have counted, I did not count, but I think I'm good. It also came with these labels that I could put on each one and label it for him. It's so funny because <laughs> you can see, I mean, this was supposed to be white paper. You see how acids in the air just get to the paper. All right, um, where's my pen? Ah. So this one is church administration. All right. And then I can declutter these um, notebooks. Hope they fit. If not, I'm going to steal the ones I use for the girls. Because it feels like those are more expandable. I hope I didn't buy the wrong thing. Oh, dear. I think I did. All right, so that project's going to wait. One of you was saying, if the state doesn't make you keep all of that paperwork, why are you keeping it, right? And I thought, if that's not a great point, I don't know a great point. Oh, boy. 
yeah, you see the, the difference, how expandable that is. So I definitely did not buy the right ones. So they don't fit. This doesn't fit. Okay. So we're going to put that to the side. That was a big old bust. I mean, I'll use them for something probably. Sadness. All right. I guess I have to declutter more papers before I can do this project. And these can come out. Because these were so full. I don't even know why I have this. I always said I wasn't going to have like the beautiful storage, but then as I see these videos, as I edit, I'm like, oh, I just want this all to look nice and uniform. So I might cave and have it look all beautiful. All right. The label first. That's Tyler. Just here. And then I can fit these eight by tens. Maybe I'll just lay them on the bottom. That's a good idea, like so. Don't even ask me how I'm getting these to him. I don't know. Watch, it'll fill this up too. No. You know, maybe when I get this project done, I'll go through and, and organize a little and I'll see ones that don't really need to be kept, that aren't great. For example, this one's not great. Oh yeah, this is this will be good. This is gonna leave me a lot more space. Okay. Oh, some of these weren't his. What did I do? I obviously got them mixed up with the ones that were for me. Oh, I got four? Oh no, I got four, but I only got three lids. 
Wow, I did great shopping today. I'm not gonna get rid of right away. I don't know, maybe I will. Well, I'm gonna wait a couple of days and just kind of figure this out. I need to go to Walmart and get another lid. Let me know if that's ever happened to you in the comments and if they gave you one. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering if they will. This is a bit of a mess. So these I am going to get rid of. I don't want, this is a big one, so I might keep it because this is kind of flimsy. This is empty. Oh, this has labels in it. Hey, how's it going? Good. Um, Allie wants to know if I can go and meet her up so we can go get ice cream. Allie. This is trash. Okay. All right, a little bit better. This much better. This is trash. And this can go with my other label. Here I am in the bathroom cleaning and it is after supper. So this is close to miraculous that I would be doing this. <laughs> I always dust first and then look at that dust. Then I add cleaner, but I had kind of cheated here because I didn't notice it was dusty. So I started with the cleaner, but it wasn't too bad because the dust was really on the top and not on the doors. I got these cabinets either at Home Depot or Lowe's. They were on sale and they are just the best quality. Honestly, I wish my kitchen cabinets were this good because there's no chips in the paint, no nothing. So I kind of want to figure it out where I got it. And then the ceiling I was asked about, that is a faux tin ceiling. So it is actually made out of plastic. I noticed there was a ton of dust on the top. So I'm going over it with my broom to just knock it all off. And then I'm going to show you all that fell on the washing machine and the dryer. All the dust that was up there. Look at my washing machine. It's just total dust. And you can see I've got dirty laundry. That's kind of how I do things. I just put it in there. And then when I have enough, I go in and I start my washing machine. So I decided to get out the vacuum and vacuum up the dust. That seemed a lot easier. I'm not speeding this clip up because if I do, then my vacuum will sound like a dentist drill. And I know nobody likes to hear that, but I do like the little background sounds. I do want you to know when you comment on my channel, when you say things that you like and don't like, I do take that very, very seriously. I do keep in mind, I'll get a mix of results. I'll get some that like something, some that don't like something. And so I kind of have to take that into consideration. And so when that happens, usually I'll go with whatever I love to watch because most of you are here because we have something in common. So if I'm not quite sure what to do, then I'll go with what I like to watch. And I just want to confess something. There is an addiction that is common among YouTubers, and it is to look at all the numbers that YouTube gives us on what people like, what they don't like, what performs well, what doesn't perform well, right down to the picture I give you when you pick a video. So I am really trying to kind of turn a blind eye and only give it 10% of my attention instead of 90% and I'm giving the 90% to you. So those of you who are commenting in the, in the comment section, you carry a lot of weight and my decisions. So I want you to know that I am making content to help you. I want to help real people. I'm not out here to help 
an algorithm or robots, even though the algorithm's job is to figure out what you like. So that's why it does get 10%. I just wanted to let you know that so that you won't hesitate to say, I would love to see you like when someone said organize closets. And sometimes you do have to repeat it in case I missed it. In fact, I would love to do a live and do a Q&A live. I know a lot of you have asked about adoption and there are parts of that journey I can share. And another asked why we homeschooled. So that's obviously something that I can share. And then I can also share other answers to questions. And I'm gonna set that up. I'm trying to figure out what day of the week. I'm thinking a weekend. So you can vote in the comment section. Would you prefer to see that live on a Saturday or a Sunday? I'm in Eastern Standard Time. So I'm thinking I could do it at noon Eastern Standard, which is when I'm normally putting up a video, or I could do it a little bit later in the afternoon, likely not earlier. And you can always watch the playback. And you can always share a question either in the comments section or you can email me at thismainermom at gmail.com or you can send me a direct message over on Instagram. Those of you who follow me on Instagram, I'm Karen at thismainermom and I spell out at A-T. So Karen at thismainermom. I am going along with my vacuum now. I'm not going to wash the floor until I'm completely done, or at least that's what I was thinking this day. It depends on how long it takes me. I never did get to filling those holes. I am deep in procrastination. I don't know why, because I said to myself, I'm not going to do it tonight. I'll do it in the morning. Did I do it in the morning? No, I didn't, because I'm sitting here editing. So, And then I'm taking my daughter to a coffee shop to meet a friend. We are down a car, so... I'm doing more driving because my car is an SUV and the girls aren't really comfortable driving it and I am perfectly happy with that. I'm perfectly happy, <laughs> to be honest, that it's just my husband and I using that car, but it does mean I am doing a lot more driving and dropping off and picking up where we live. Everything is 35 minutes away. So we have one city 35 minutes away, another, well, it's like three and they're all in kind of opposite directions. And so, you know, it doesn't always work out that one person can drop off and then keep on going. So either way, I do feel good that I got everything wiped down in this bathroom, the walls I did in my last spring clean video. And now I'm doing the furniture that's in here, the toilets, I stay up quite well. And the inside of the cabinets weren't bad. There's just this little landing spot that gets bad. So I am spot cleaning in here. I get makeup on the inside of the door because it's on my hands and then I open up the door. At least I think it's me. So I'm doing what needs to be done and not another thing. And I need to pull out that basket and get underneath that as well. I have been happy to be putting up a video most days. I do prefer every day, but sometimes I just kind of bottom out a little bit. So what that means is I'm not putting as much in one video. I mean, I try to do um, a mix. So let me know, is it enough of a mix? If I were to do every other, obviously I could put more things in each video, but I feel like we're doing okay, but you can let me know down in the comment section. And so this is quite dirty. Also water gets goes along the vanity and then drizzles down. So there's some water damage, which makes me very sad. It's part of it's just the way that the, the faucet and the tip of the counter and I need to recalk the back where the backsplash is. So I really want to learn how to do a good job with the caulking. So going in with the broom here, getting on any dust. So, you know, you sweep it and then you dust it. And then I'm not doing the whole floor, but I am going to do this since I'm putting the basket back. And then when I do wash the floor, I won't need to take the basket out and wash underneath of that. So hopefully in tomorrow's video, you're going to see me do some painting and then it's the weekend. I'm going to try to put a mix. I was thinking, I know I'm not going to be home a whole lot today, so I'll see what I can do, but perhaps I can put our supper in there as well and see if I can kind of rotate around to some different jobs so that it's a little bit more exciting than watching paint dry. <laughs> Oh, it felt good to get this corner cleaned up. It's really been kind of bugging me 
quite a bit. I want you to know how much I appreciate you spending your time with me and look at that dirt. If you're new to my channel, I am a mom of seven and I do decluttering and cleaning and decorating and all the homemaker things. So take a peek at my channel and then if you like what you see, I hope you'll choose to subscribe because I'd love to get to know you better. This is all I have for this video. I hope it encouraged you and motivated you to do the things that were on your list. And I hope you always remember that God loves you. And I love you too. And I can't wait to see you next time. Which hopefully will be tomorrow.